All right, today I'm just gonna post this briefly this video. Royals told me that they will release so many information about themselves that I won't be able to prove anything. Well, the thing is that when it comes to me, I could, if I wanted to, I could have opened and called this like a royal channel because of the data I have on these people. I've spent time with these people since 95. Um, to tell you the truth, not that I wanted to, really not that I wanted to after 96, I don't think that there was anything between us really any more left to do but because Angela Merkel insisted that I have to keep up next to them with them I did literally because of Angela Merkel and uh, today I'm gonna say I have to say I'm sorry about keeping around them this is mm, related to the food issues is about I ate I I mean I ate I saw somewhere about the food written about Okay, the queen's favorite lunch is delicious and not so easy, and so easy to cook, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that stuff. That's... Okay, uh, this isn't going to be about her alone, this is going to be also about her sister princess Anne and it's going to be about let's say vegetable soup that also involved spinach no this is not the kind of soup that Anne does and it's Queen Elizabeth that adores her soup that's not the kind of soup that is the kind of soup that Queen loves um now of this thing here i'm gonna say to you not this not this not any of this and cooks soup like this that kind of soup that's interesting they don't blend with the mixer food broccoli and spinach and stuff once they do it but and does she lives um, actually there is nothing here you know something closest I could come to it would look like this her soup without this tomato inside it's just green leaves the whole thing that's how she does the soup that's not written anywhere take this um, butter out that's the kind of soup she prepares um, she is not using a mixer or anything like this she would just leave it like this and that's what they like that's what I did not like though that's not what I like I like the other way around with the mixer 
and that already was one of the disagreements in 1996 too, or something like that 97 yeah these people were here inside of this house cooking Queen Elizabeth was here on quite a few occasions you see that's the stuff that's not written and it's not written that it's Princess Anne that well here it was Princess Anne that cooked for her but of course she does have a cook at the Buckingham Palace that follows probably recipe of Princess Anne right so I'm just letting you know from up close basically so that you understand they don't blend stuff they eat the whole thing I don't even see it here the way they they prepare the soup something I didn't like they cook the whole leaves they leave the whole leaves cooked like this they also put other stuff inside whatever stuff green stuff it always look like completely completely green something uh, also recommended for the cancer as a cure in everything they prepare in a stuff they prepare I would definitely tell you how and what and this and that uh, this was the first disagreement between me and Princess Anne vegetable soup that she prepared. I was not crazy about eating vegetable soup. Um, I was just not crazy about eating vegetable soup. Um, and the first thing she scolded me about was that I like the one that is blended soup and not this one that's why we cannot be friends and stuff like that you know, she teased me a little bit so just saying this I did some soup today so I'm saying this stuff that I can always come around and I can always prove that I was around these people not that I wanted to be around them but unfortunately I spend a whole a lot of time around these people. Talking about um, talking about this soup, I decided I'm going to do the video on. And I know, of course, I know they're watching this stuff. I would also like to ask something else. Yesterday on my route from Novo Mesto to Varsevnica, this we would head walking from 95, probably on unlimited number. The first walks that we would take, we would go from Novo Mesto to Sevnica. Uh, Sevnica. And it's actually, you know, that makes me wonder. That now even makes me wonder more. Uh, as a matter of fact, it doesn't make me wonder. I, I am going to tell you more about how Donald Trump met Melania Trump. In 1995, so just so that you folks will know how Donald Trump met Melania Trump. No, precisely I'm gonna tell you maybe interesting stuff how Donald Trump met Melania Trump 
We would go for a walk since 1995 with first man that I would go for a walk from Novomesto to Sevnica. You know who was? This was King Harald of Norway. This guy, this here. This was my first, first, first ever team. This. This was, for me personally, I would not even talk to anybody else almost than to these people here. This was, for me, this was the best. And they were the best. They were the best for this place, for Slovenia too. They were the best, absolutely. Uh, Hakon was a kid back then. Hakon was just uh, becoming uh, how can I say Harold was training him in 95 he was a trainee he was a royal trainee he was yeah you don't tell me that anything about whether this was a real case or not you know if I'm talking BS or I'm talking facts here. Um, Hakan was a trainee next to his father who handled everything. And the first one that would come to Slovenia, I actually, there were other people, but I didn't give a damn about other people. For me, this, this were the most important people for me personally. Um, was he walking to Sevnica along me yeah there was other royals too but as we walk down uh, here towards Sevnica you know let me demonstrate you something it'll be like this I do like this this is the real route we would take it would go like this this was the route we took and we would repeatedly take this here da -da -da -da. this place here this is where boyfriend from Melania alone complained me eat too much food here this is a Shmarieshka to Plitsa the new American boyfriend yeah this is how she met her boyfriend Donnie and then she popped up inside of the store but I don't know because the idea the first idea her initial the initial idea was to bring me home so what exactly happened here I'm actually not even sure about whether that I met her here in Slovenia already, that we met, that she was the first, because this, this was like a frequent thing. Uh, any woman that would get involved in NK Autry was sooner than later somebody would snap her. So I assume in fact that I met Melania upon my return probably even earlier than in 96 when we would be walking towards Sevnica through here from Novo Mesa to Sevnica no, that's her city, Sevnica it's very close by here and so Donald maybe she's tried still in 96 it was a good catch bring me home at all costs they wanted, they, they didn't want me in the US and her father is a Udba guy, is a police, a Yugo police, Serbian police, basically, with a very bad record. People that murdered. Oh, look at that. It's actually even Janez Janša here. You see. Uh, but Udba people, this is. Um, 
very bad record. This is Udba people killed a lot. They killed and did almost nothing other than killed. They would come and kill. Oh. Look, never mind. Right here. And then you turn here, you go up here. Okay, and then you turn here. It was right here, look. Somebody came, oh my god, my god. Nazis, Nazis, Nazis. No, there was no Nazis. There was no, there was no Nazis. There was just Norwegian king. There were other royals and there was this Udba people up to no good, Milan Kuchan. I knew everything is going to go downhill as soon as I learned that this shit here was around. I knew everything is going to go downhill. Everything did go downhill. What I brought to Slovenia went from Slovenia straight to Germany. Oh yeah, Swedish king. Swedish royals were also present. A contract that these people threw on a table, like investment-wise, uh, this, this contract totaled to a few billion dollars. Um, like a top pay workers in Slovenia would have. Something that they would kill for at the time and at the time Slovenia was far behind Germany in 95 and 96. They would kill, as a matter of fact, even in the US. In the US or in Germany, they would kill for investments that these people brought, these guests of mine. But this dude here, uh, he didn't think so. He didn't want them anywhere. This was uh, a lunatic, not really a communist. Uh, it's a problem because he's a lunatic hiding behind the issue of the communism. And that creates a confusion for people that are a communist party, a real communists, you know, for the workers. This guy never had dirty hands from work. This is just a theoric, uh, theoretic, theorician, blah, 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 man, that accomplished not a good things, a lot of bad things here in Slovenia. But as a controlled opposition of this separation from Serbian Chetnik State Yugoslavia movement, he was positioned in Slovenia even as a president. So when I saw this present next to him, uh, of course, this thing here, this is his student, that's his mentor, and this is his student. Sometimes in 98, on this same track to Sevnica, I almost end up beating up this guy. This is Danilo Turk. He was disrespectful with the guests and stuff like this, uh, threatening to the locals. And once he started to agitate me, I think even in 97, I just wanted to go with the fists, basically dropped up a ballistic on him and just annihilate him right there, right then. Uh, this is a Udba guy who would even give orders to assassinate people. 
according to his own words. And I wouldn't say this if I wouldn't know this for fact. Then, after the Russian side even calmed him down, I would have to spend some quality time next to him and his Vasilka, this triangle inside of his family with, uh, with his lover, uh, wife, uh, and all kinds of crap like this that next to this girl, obviously there was beauty. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it at all. Crazy shit. Anyhow, this man became a president, Danilo Turk. And really, when in 2011, and I did explain that on complaint, all the issues about King Harold, you know, when I came to file for political asylum in the Norway, he told me he's gonna, first they told me I'm not allowed to file for political asylum in Norway. Not he, but immigration, Norwegian operation, I'm not allowed. And this is, uh, if I do this, they're gonna transport me to Slovenia into mental asylum if I do such a thing. And since I did, they threw me out on the street. Then he would come back. He would get me on Ankiatra and tell me he definitely gonna get me inside of the mental hospital. But before he do that, he's gonna actually even come to Slovenia. Uh, and he really did this. And at that time, the president just happened so was Danilo Turk. It would be interesting to know Let me see that stuff. Now this is getting, this is, this is, this is, this is really now probably uh, kind of obtaining interesting dialogue. Look, this guy was in the office from December 2007 to December 2012. Look at that. He was eventually even ambassador to the United Nations. To make the story short, this assassin who would give the orders, literally, he came from the Shtarska region here, to Slovenia, in 97, really. Udba. It's crazy. Honors and awards, uh, wow. It's, it's, that's why, that's why, this is why I have a problem with it. Uh, how this man got there, I don't know. The only thing I know is, the people like this, this too, it doesn't matter, left me behind. You left me behind for death in a ditch. Well, I know, I understand it's because you got a better offers. I get it, and these are the offers you got. I get it, I understand. I understand this stuff. That's why, you see, this is, this is exactly why I also am not going to go and accept any kind of explanation about these contracts, how, yeah, the contracts to make sure landed eventually in the hands of Germans and even Joe Biden, who was present at the time, Joe Biden was involved since 95 in this thing, got one contract to the U.S., and said that people were so happy about it. it Nor Norway is the most expensive state. That's uh, oil and stuff like this they produce. And the technology they use, 
in Scandinavia, whether that be Sweden, Norway, or Finland, is like top, 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 top notch technology. I'm just gonna end up here with uh, this thing here. It's called Klenovik. Klenovik, it's called Klenovik. Look, you see this? This is where King Harald in 95, because I'll go back in 95, got so excited about. He got so excited about this. This is these are very beautiful places to go hiking. Uh, he got so 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 excited about because of this as it end with the Vik. And if you go to Norway, you would have almost everywhere ended up with a VIK well kind of in that sense um, maybe I have no idea just to I didn't know but it was something interesting about this with this Klenovic whatever it, maybe he wanted to help me out people did stuff like this so that I would remind myself if I when I would walk through here and so on. This 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 here this is a Sevnitsa, right? So this is a Sevnitsa. So going through this yesterday, uh, there was a German car. Where I'll tell you what I was in Klenovic. I I went through that Klenovic and then I took a picture. Uh, let me see that. Uh, I stopped right before the Sevnitsa actually, I, I took the picture at, and then I turned around. Uh, Otavnik, it's, it's like Otavnik, something like that, you know, here somewhere I got, all the way up to here is what I got with this walk. Um, there was a German that had it with a camper that had it with a camper okay let me demonstrate this he did exactly what he told me he would do okay let me see this stuff here so i did not get up to seven it's a no he had a camper and his German would always come. He had a good friends here in in Sevnitsa. And it's the only thing that I can tell you is that I'm gonna do it like this. Okay. this yeah his friends are uphill about 50 meters from the roads uh, I am trying to find something so at least I would set an example of what that looks like but for that matter I would have to go to Sevnica and find him but this is German guy that comes here Oh, you already forgot those how long. And he parks his camper uh, their parcel and is with them and then he goes back to Germany but this is just uh, comes at this time of the year to get some chis chestnut and stuff like this and have a good time with the friends there is quite a lot of people from abroad that go to Sevnica actually this 
this is not so easy for me to find as I was anticipating but it's just something like this and it's something let me see what what exactly this looks like aha uh -huh. yeah um, yeah this is this is uh, probably where this guy is yeah uh, let, me, let me see that he's got a camper and he would go and park basically that that's pretty much what the area probably is it, that's exactly more or less what it looks like he would park the camper right next to the home spend some time with them and then he would head back and it also changed quite a lot asphalt everywhere now like this nice then I met another one then I met another dude uh, on my way back at the torches he had a Renault space at the torches because I know I know I know Miracle Wanderlein told me as I head back uh, to Germany I will already know what to do with you she told me this on a plane when we headed back to Germany uh, with a plane yeah talking about this meeting here yesterday talking about this meeting here yesterday this was in Slovenia too yesterday this oh I was a Ursula too that was present this lady is involved in MK Archer case since 95 um, dude I saw whose car I saw yesterday that's a dude uh, are the torches right here actually this is a uh, here you are okay this is closer this one he had a car car right here in our space I'm saying this stuff because yeah quite frankly what's this is not my I'm not gonna profit none, none of this stuff this is um, actually even not doing me any good stuff it's taking time away from me it's destroying actually it's destroying me but imagine for the people folks imagine that something like this happens to you and you watch this good for nothing actually hiding somewhere over there uh, I mean 27 years of life they destroyed me 27 years of life to me and you're gonna read my complaint you're gonna see what how far I have gone for these people and how I ended up I'm saying this because they're not worthy they are not worthy of your trust they're not worthy of your effort it's the worst that ever was he had Renault Space, and I get really angry when I saw this Renault Space because he was the guy who brought me from Poland or maybe took me back to Poland when hijacked in 2019 from hostel or immigration place or whatever it was. It's shit when you go to the places like this and you eventually become completely defenseless against ECP ECP is electroshock technology that's used to 
wipe your memories out so that's the car he had already since 2019 this is car ends with the three numbers seven 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 and before this he also had Renault space That's the car he had. Oh, like this actually color. This car, this guy had a. Uh, ah, that's enough. How much information about these people? Too much. But it's too damn bad that it's the police that continues to neglect the truth. I must admit, I must, I must admit that it is also the shit that took place because of police. So, this is the world we live in and this stuff was recorded here on date and time. Yeah, I was walking yesterday and I said to myself, And I said to myself on my way back, I, st I, I brought basically investments that this little country, Slovenia, had never ever seen anything alike. And they will never ever see this again. It's not going to happen. I brought money to Slovenia that was, that the Germans envied. Switzerland would envy stuff like this. And it's the people like this here, this individual here, that took that money away, that kicked that money out. Milan Kuchan bought a power. They yelled at this royals, they got them out from Slovenia. They mistreated them. This, I think, is a right for Slovenian people to know. Uh, I was actually even accused of being a traitor, the one who would, I don't know, exterminate Slovenian people and stuff like this. That, that was what I was accused of. This is the truth in the hands of King Harald of Norway. He can testify to what I stated. This is the truth in the hands of Joe Biden. This is the truth in the hands of Angela Merkel, Ursula von der Leyen. Look, why I didn't like Ursula von der Leyen. Okay, I'm going to explain to you. Ursula von der Leyen did something very bad in this case, very, very bad. Zara Phillips was according, and I don't believe this. I don't believe anything they say. I don't, I don't believe this royals anything they say, because it was always like this, that it's supposed to be, that it was bound to be. And it never came true. It was always somebody else that managed to intercept that. Uh, according to to his people, this was bound to be my wife. And in 2010, Queen Anne, actually, Princess Anne, that she's going to help and help and help. We ended right here with Ursula von der Leyen. this lady here she would always go whenever this people this guests would be she also also always would be present and I don't believe it I really don't believe this stuff 
I don't believe it. It's easy to say this stuff, but you didn't know what happened to me in 2010. I was thrown inside of the mental hospital in 2012. I was destroyed, ripped apart. This here, I understand this place here is where it was decided about Zara Phillips and myself. We would be coming back and Ursula von der Leyen uh, had to talk, you know, and that's why I had to talk. Obviously, that we were in Eastern Europe, so obviously that she had to talk to Vladimir Putin. Obviously, that she had to talk to. Who knows, maybe Milan Kuchan, maybe Borut Pahor, Alexander Vucic. That's my question for you, Ursula. Who did you have to talk to about this marriage, possibility of this marriage? Who was deciding? Who is the man? Who? because it was such a BS big shit was out of this whole thing of which nothing came out and just a year and a half later I found myself inside of the hospital she shortly after that however got married that's why I said I don't believe anything you know how she got married that's interesting that's interesting that's also I could tell you how her husband would go very early, would get up and go uh, to take care of horses and stuff like this. Uh, they kept me around, this nice guy. And one time he came and it was a done deal, he told me. But I want to know, because if there is a such a thing that really took place, if it was not for hypocrisy and lies, you must have audio recording, right? Because you know something, Ursula. The course, the royal stook, is the course of unbelievable. For me personally, in my eyes, it's a course of nothing other than a lice that lasted 27 years that got me eventually behind walls of mental institution. I, on the other hand, did sacrifice my life for them. Not on one occasion, but on quite a few. So this is the kind of stuff I would love to know what exactly happened. I'm not angry or envious or anything like this at anybody have problem with absolutely anything. It does not, it does not absolutely affect me in any way, but it does affect me some other issues. It affects me. A lot of issues that it was a lot of claims how they like me and this and that and I don't know what. Uh, that too, all that money, that would add up to easily, I don't know, over $300 billion in 2000. In 2000. Dissipated. I never got one cent out of all this blah, 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 blah. So I remember King Harold stressing issues even on top of me that, that, that I was the one that, and so on and so forth, that I had, that was my blame because these people, these people, what the fuck, what do I got to do with these people? Nothing really. I don't have anything to do with these people here. These people shouldn't actually even be here. But yes, I understand. They are here. And it was the same thing with Angela Merkel and so on. You know, I am not, I don't have a magic stick that I would go and do like, and these people would be gone or whatever. But healthy mind in my head tells me 
that I was the one who insisted and still continue to insist on the country of this people and this people here having the right to sovereignty from Serbian Chetnik state that eventually Slovenian people even told me that British royals, the British would be that eventually would not, they did not work behind against me only but they got quite a few Slovenian people also in trouble. That's why I have a lot, a lot of questions to ask and one of the questions also that I would love to know the answers about would also be the question on this um, incident of I don't know, was it 2010 or maybe it was 2011 you're gonna tell me about that if you will uh, but in meanwhile I'm just gonna do without the magic stick press the complaint forward, work my way forward. Basically, what anybody with healthy mind would do. It was so much treachery, it was so much backstabbing that, excuse me, really, my trust was dissipated, disappeared. Anybody's trust would. October the 7th, 2021, yep, 